Ask yourself a fundamental question. Why are African Caribbeans in the position we're in? Complaining generation after generation from we landed in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010, 2020s. Same complaints. But not just us. African Americans, wherever we are in the world, whether we're in Holland, Italy, Germany, Denmark, wherever we are in the world, we're in the same position. And it's because we fail to collectively organize. Don't think about what people say. It's irrelevant today. Britain has just been identified as institutionally corrupt through its police department. We knew if nobody else knew. Institutionally racist, we knew if nobody else knew. So why do we keep failing to do anything about it? Because we have that light bulb. It's too black. We've been part of a 500 year black experiment as Africans and we've been the subjects. We haven't contributed to it. And we have the ability to step out of that project. Why ADPAC? Why ADPAC in 2021? ADPAC is a solution. ADPAC is a raft of solutions. Think of ADPAC as the arc of solutions. When you think about contracting firms, you think about Halliburton, and it just seems a million miles away from where we are. Well, it's not, because that's exactly what ADPAC is, to be that interim between African Caribbean population and all governmental institutions, be that the NHS, be that the Department for Education, be that the police, be that local authorities, be that the civil service. We are to become the conduit. But what does it need? It needs you. It requires you who operate at the highest echelons of what you do across economics, education, employment, justice, media, housing, health, and politics to make an impact as directors of department, to do what? Inform policy that specifically and exclusively affects African, African Caribbean people and mixed heritage with African population of the United Kingdom. Why do we need it now? It's clear, any of us could be touched at whatever position we are in within our roles. And it's not only unacceptable, it's untenable at this stage. But the beautiful part is, it doesn't require anybody's permission to break the cycle, except yours. So I'm speaking to you about your profession, your capabilities. Think about how you operate within your role, within the mainstream, and about how frustrated you were last year when George Floyd was murdered and you had to suffer colleagues, well, we don't know what happened before the cameras came on. Well, we do know now. He was accused of using a forged $20 bill, which like Judge Dredd turned out to be a capital offense for an African-American, where even though it was recorded on camera, there needs to be a trial. How long? How long are we going to put up with this? How long are we going to find this acceptable? How long are we going to complain? Because we don't have to. All of our grassroots organizations can onboard ADPAC. What we call uh, working with our partners is insourcing because we're all family. So if you think about ADPAC as a Halliburton that will go and get the big contracts for and on our behalf nationally. We insource all of our own delivery partners who are culturally competent to deliver the work for and on behalf of the African Caribbean community. This is all that we are asking. Join us. Join us at a professional level. Join us as volunteers. And join us as the public just like you would any political organization that doesn't represent your interests. 
But there again, APAC assists the We Matter Party with policy and desire to onboard you there so that we can acquire local authority wards to gain more to gain access to resources and more fairly distribute those resources as those boroughs are represented by ethnicity. We've just been unorganized and that's a faux pas that we've suffered for 70 years. And unfortunately our children have suffered it and continue to suffer it through the Department for Education. But with our own educational trust applied to all of our supplementary schools and our own mainstream schools, we're not open to the threats of the Department for Education. We have autonomy. We have the capability. We lack the will. Exposure leads to expansion. And not exposed to information means that we just don't know. You could see a sign for water that says water in 100 miles, H2O in 20 feet. You may not know the composition and end up on that 100 mile journey. This is where we've been. The H2O is right around the corner. Everything is a choice and an option. As we start to move in sovereign trusts for all of our institutions, we are freed from the legislation that has oppressed us for 70 plus years. We saw it. Last year was the 70th anniversary of the Windrush generation landing en masse to be celebrated. And what happened? They highlighted the Windrush scandal. Kidnapping those who rebuilt Britain, Britain's NHS, Britain's underground, Britain's civil service, and then kidnapped the children by employing a racist policy that said destroy the naturalization records, which is illegal, create a hostile environment using all of our agencies, be it the Department for Education, because if the children were in school, then they were targeted there, the NHS, so they couldn't get treatment, the Department for Work and Pensions, so that they couldn't be employed or receive benefits. This led some to death, unjust, and what do we do? Well, then we waited on the government to recompense those victims when they wanted to, at the rate they wanted to, where they wanted to. Again, untenable. We are capable of changing that because we're capable of bringing a class action against the government. We are our own saving grace. Far too indoctrinated, told we're far too black, when nobody could tell anybody they're too Chinese, too Asian, too English, because it's a nonsense. And it's time to end the nonsense. Please, if you are operating at an exceptional role within your organization, join our board as a director. Education, employment, economics, politics, media, trade and industry, justice. We need you. You need you to operate for you. And our children are looking at us. Let us not be useless to the generation ahead. Join ADPAC, make a difference, and let us start to change the fabric of Britain for our benefit and let the rest of Britain be the beneficiaries of that.